Hello dear all, I'm Yvon Donko, Senior Consultant at CRM Asset Consulting. We are specialized in Microsoft technologies, Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, and so on. So this is video number 8 on a series of uh, more than 20 videos I post, mostly on Power Automate Flow. Okay, so in previous videos, I showed you how to create a custom connector for Zoom, how to uh, create automatically a meeting from a Zoom meeting from Dynamics 365. Okay, this is the Zoom meeting created using the custom connector. How to use the custom connector to retrieve participants to a Zoom meeting, registrant to a Zoom meeting, and also participants to a Zoom meeting. In the previous flow, I showed you how, I mean, I have showed you the flow that helped me to identify among my registrants who are already leads or contacts. Same thing for participants. Who are those from participants who are also lead in my system or contact already? So now, this is the scenario of this uh, of this power automate flow or of this video. I want to convert a registrant who is not a lead nor a contact into a lead. Okay. So when I look these records. This is the only record to be converted as lead because the first one is a lead already. The second one is not a lead nor a contact. The third one is a lead and the fourth is a contact. So this one should be converted as lead automatically. Okay. If I go on participant, this is the only one that will be converted as lead. Okay. So when I will run my Power Automate flow, I should have this one created as lead and also this record. So let me show you how the flow works and then explain you how it has been done. So I click here, flows, um, it is uh, loading. Now I have So convert registrant into a lead, okay? And I also have convert participant into a lead. Let us select this one first. And the structure of the flows uh, are the same. So while explaining, I'm not going to show you the two. I can just focus on one and uh, it will be enough because the way it has been done uh, is quite... Uh, is the same I mean so it become wrong run my flow and done okay so my flow is running background and as I told you this record okay should be created under the lead okay this is the content of the lead I don't have too many lead for now so I should have this record added from here because I found this flow. Okay, so let us uh, refresh this. Okay, it's taking time. Or oh, let me maybe select all. Okay, it is already there, it's created. Okay. Okay, that is fine so you can see the cre the creation date okay to make sure that it is my flow that created this record 9 11 okay so it is 9 11 also on my clock okay So now let me run the second, the second flow. Okay. This one should be created as lead flow. Uh, convert participant into lead. Okay. So I also run this one. 
it will take all the participants who are not lead, not contact and create it as a lead record under the lead entity okay so this other one should be also added under the lead so let us refresh okay so you can see okay so the topic is coming from zoom is a zoom participant this one is a zoom registrar so my flow works well and now i will explain you uh, maybe the the, the 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 one that convert a registrant into a lead so uh, convert registrant into a lead let me edit this one uh, it's opening it's opening okay <laughs> Okay, now it's correct. So the trigger is when a record is selected, environment default, table name event. From here, I list registration rules and I have to filter. I don't want contact. I mean, I don't want uh, uh, because look from here, if I select registrants, okay. I don't want records that are already contact or lead. Okay, that is why I use this O data filter. Ren contact not equal to yes. Ren lead or contact equal to null. Okay. So I want records who, that are not. Uh, contact no lead so this is my O data filter now I pass the, the the output of the previous operation like this after passing I can use my select operation this is the body of the previous operation I pass I create the keys and the corresponding values as uh, you can see it is quite simple now select registrants with matching event okay so select registrant field item even equal to internal uh, i mean internal display so from here i want to recover registrants rows that are linked to the event from which I'm running the flow. I don't want to retrieve the whole data. So this is uh, the purpose of uh, of this uh, this uh, data operation from here. Now I can select registration emails. I pass the body of uh, the previous operation and item question mark email to build an array of emails and these emails are simple string okay separated by a comma not object okay so from here i also li list the lead the lead rows okay because i want to recover the content of the lead entity in order to use the filter and avoid recording a record that is already there that is why i need to recover also the content of the lead entity and i select the column <coughs> i need okay <coughs> i just pass the output of the previous operation and i can select my lead rows okay this is the body of the previous operation full name the key and the value the key of email and the value okay now i select also lead emails simple an array of simple string uh, items that represent the lead emails okay now i will do the intersection of registered emails and lead emails to see who are 
common in the two entities. So that is the purpose of this intersection okay, expression. So now, filter email or registrant to create as lead. Okay, as I told you, I have to avoid recording duplicate records. So that is the purpose of this filter <coughs> from here. Select registrant emails. Okay, intersection registrant email does not contain item. So I don't want to, I just want to keep items that does not already exist in the lead. Okay. So remove duplicate from registrant array. So this is body select row with matching even, body select row with matching even. So in the union, I pass the same uh, set okay as the two parameters that is to remove duplicate items from now uh, this is the filter okay i select remove duplicate from uh, registrant array and i pass filter email of registrant to create as lead does contain content items okay so now i will just filter registrants to create as lead from here and now i enter in my loop with the body of the previous operation that contains registrants that does not already exist in lead to be created as lead so i add a new row and that is the lead i pass item last name okay this is the topic Okay, so when you see Zoom registration, Zoom participant, this is where I set it. Okay, description, I just put the, the, the event. Okay, um, this is the email, item email. Okay, this is the first name. So this is simply how this flow has been done. And uh, the other one that create participant uh, leads is almost the same. So. Uh, Thank you very much for watching and see you next time for another video on Power Auto.